Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly and I am back again with another uh, organizational tip, I guess. Some of you have asked about um, how I go about storing my stamps. And um, this is, I just found a couple of old um, three ring binders that I was using for other things and then I repurposed them. So this is kind of how I do it. I take um, some stamps and I laminate, or let's start over. I take a piece of white cardstock and I stamp on it with as many stamps as I think will fit. Then I laminate that, stick my stamps on here, um, like that. And then I put the whole thing in a um, page protector and put it in my three ring binder. And then I just kind of store it on my shelf standing up. So I have two books right now full of stamps and I need to go through and label the, you know, put a, a label on there so I know what they are. But this way I can see exactly what the image looks like when it's stamped out. I can keep um, sets together, um, big background stamps, easy way to store those put all of the same theme together maybe, um, all of my sentiments, um, page for butterflies, page for Halloween, um, some of my Tim Holtz stuff, and some of my Prima stuff. Anyway, this is kind of how I do it. So um, I want to show you exactly my process. Um, and yes, I need another three ring binder because both of mine are full. But um, I ran out of page protectors, so I was thinking, what can I do to um, find some page protectors? And I just happened to have a whole bunch of these big um, 12 by 12 layout page protectors, and I thought, well, why couldn't I cut those down? So um, that is kind of what I'm doing with this, and I just used a laminated, a pre-laminated page to kind of figure out if that's the right width and height and of course I made it a little small so I'll have to trim that down but um, what I did is I just took my paper cutter um, and I figured out that one of these is 9 by 11 and a half so this needs to be 9 and a quarter by 11 and 3 quarters um, and since it's 12 by 12 let me double check that um, it's actually 24 and a quarter I'm sorry, 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter. Um, I need to cut, I don't do math. So if it's nine and a quarter, um, I need to cut three inches off of this. So I'll do one and a half inches. So 12 and a half minus one and a half is eleven and a half. So I'll do that way. And my paper cutter doesn't cut all the way to the end, so I just kind of snap it off like that. Um, and I want it to, to be equal on both sides, so that's why I'm doing one and a half and one and a half. Um, so anyway. And then, oh, I'm an idiot because that should be 11 and a half that way. So what is it now? Hmm. Um, and it is. I just don't get to cut any more off the other side. So this should be from the seam right here over should be nine and a quarter. So I'm just going to trim the rest of that off, like that. Alright, so then we need to seal up where it's open. You could leave it like this, but the potential for your um, stamps to fall out is greater. So I just grabbed my fancy little tool here. And I'm just going to make a seam. 
that's too far. I just eyeball it, whatever looks decent. Let that cool just a second. And pull it off. And it's smoking. Let me unplug this. Gotta find the right cord. <clears throat> so now that can be cooling off. And I will set this aside. Okay. Alright, so now I have my sheet, my page protector. So now I need a piece of white cardstock. got some old stuff here um, and then I use stays on ink um, so I'm gonna take one of my um, Downton Abbey sets There's my ink and my block and because I want a good impression I'll get my my uh, homemade stamp thingy stamp mat and I just place stuff I place multiples on the block however they will fit It's probably all I can get on that one. All right. And then I just ink it up. I need to re ink my stamp pad here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I just Stamp it down. Okay. And then I clean off that. set those aside and go for the next group. That's probably good. Alright, so we'll stop with that. Alright, and then I take one of my uh, laminating pouches. And I just use the Scotch thermal laminating pouches. This one was a big package of, I don't know, 100 or so, and it didn't have the thickness on it, so I can't tell you what thickness I'm using because I don't know. Oh, and my chair just rolled away from me. If you could see the stuff rocking and rolling. 
All right. So this is just a you know cheap laminator from Walmart. You take your pouch, slide in your stamp sheet, your stamp reference sheet, and run it through. And this part is the longest part, but if you have several pages going at one time, it's super easy. It doesn't take quite as long. All right, now that that's done, just let it cool off for just a minute. And then what I do is I go ahead and I trim it. And just trim some of the excess off just to make sure it fits in the, in the page protector. And I do round my corners because I don't like sharp, pokey corners. Just like that. And then all you have to do is kind of hold it up to the light so that you can see the images from the backside. I don't know if you can see that, but so I just hold it up to the light and I go, okay, which one goes where? And I just start sticking. There it is. All right. So then you have all of your stamps on here. You just make sure they're good and pressed down. And then. What I do is I put them with the picture up so that when you're turning the pages, you can see the, the images and pick out the image that you want. So then you just slide it in there like that, put it in your three ring binder and you're done. So that's how I do them. And like I said, I'm gonna put little, little tabs so that I can see what stamp sets they are, what they go with, um, or by theme, because I don't necessarily keep them all by uh, um, manufacturer. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new, and or at least a new way to think about storing your stamps, and you can get a whole lot in one three ring binder, and you don't have all those little packages to hold on to. So. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see and I'll see you guys again soon. Have a great day, bye.